All right, for today's story, I'm gonna read you um, Fly Guy. And I want you to take a nice look at the picture because at the end, we are gonna draw our own story about Fly Guy and uh, try to be the best illustrators we can be, draw exactly like our illustrator Ted Arnold did. So Ted Arnold, he was the illustrator and the author, so he wrote the words and the pictures. This is the first ever Fly Guy book written. It's called Hi Fly Guy, and it is um, the first story of how Fly Guy meets his friend Buzz. Chapter one, a fly went flying. He was looking for something to eat, something tasty, something slimy. Does that look tasty to you? A boy went walking. He was looking for something to catch. Something smart, something for the amazing pet show. They met. Boink! The boy caught the fly in a jar. A pet, he said. Do you think a fly would make a good pet? Maybe. The fly was mad. He wanted to be free. He stomped his foot and he said, do you know what he says? Buzz. The boy was surprised. You know my name? You are the smartest pet in the world. Chapter two, Buzz took the fly home. This is my pet, Buzz said to his mom and dad. He is smart, he can say my name, listen. Buzz opened the jar and the fly flew out. Flies can't be pets, said dad, they're pests. He got a fly swatter and then the fly cried, Buzz! And Buzz came to the rescue. You're right, said dad, this fly is smart. He needs a name, said Mum. Buzz thought for a minute. Fly Guy, said Buzz. And Fly Guy said, Buzz. It was time for lunch. Buzz gave Fly Guy something to eat. Fly Guy was happy. Burp. Chapter three, The Amazing Pet Show. Buzz took Fly Guy to The Amazing Pet Show. Do you think Fly Guy's gonna win? The judges laughed. Flies can't be pets, they said. Flies are pests. Buzz was sad. He opened the jar. Shoo, Fly Guy, he said. Flies can't be pets. But Fly Guy liked Buzz and he had an idea. He did some fancy flying. The judges were amazed. This fly can do tricks, they said. But flies can't be pets. Then Fly Guy said, Buzz. The judges were more amazed. The fly knows the boy's name. But they still said, flies can't be pets. Fly Guy flew high, high, high into the sky. Then he dived down and he landed right in the jar. The fly knows his jar, the judges said. This fly is a pet. Then they let Fly Guy into the show. He even won an award. Tallest pet, pet with the most legs, cutest pet, heaviest pet, smartest pet. And so began a beautiful friendship. So for writing today, I want you to write um, about what you would do if Fly Guy was your pet. But the trick is when you're drawing, like I said, I want you to try to draw Fly Guy exactly like Ted Arnold so we look at the important things to notice. Does Fly Guy have little tiny eyes or big eyes? Okay, so he has big eyes. He has these antennas here. Um, he has like, um, it would be like an upside down rainbow shape for his body, his little feet, arms, and wings. And then the fun part is you get to make you like Ted Arnold would. So if we look at how he draws people, what are maybe some things you notice? Right away, I notice the huge eyes. So that's one thing you could do is huge eyes. We'll look at, um, that's pretty much like Ted Arnold really draws people with huge eyes. The rest, 
uh, look pretty normal. If you look at his mom and dad, same normal clothes, normal body, just humongo eyes. So I drew me and uh, Fly Guy. So you can see I drew Fly Guy. I think I did a pretty good job. And he's saying buzz. And then for me, I drew me normal, even with glasses, because I have glasses. But I drew those big eyes, and then I'm saying yes, but instead of yes, I'm doing like fly guy would, saying yes. So I sound more like a fly. So that's my picture, and then I wrote about uh, what I would do with fly guy. So I said, if fly guy was my pet, he would live in my pencil case. So you could tell me where fly guy would live in your house, what kind of things you would do, would fly guy know your name? All of that fun stuff. So um, that's your writing for today is write about you and Fly Guy and the adventures you would go on. And I'd love to see those pictures of you drawing like Ted Arnold.